Game 6. It's the Wild and Predators with a rematching face here at Bridgestone Arena. This is it. Will the Nashville Predators tie this game or Minnesota win it all here in the first round beating out the Nashville Predators? The game is about to happen now here as we get started. Now we'll have the commentators get ready to her position and be on the board. Fan and OJ are on, on set here for game six here for tonight, as this will be happening the most game of the resource. Now let's head you over down to Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. Guys, all yours. Thank you so much, your son of beast. We'll see him back from the post game. As of right now, me and Fan are here for exciting games here so far, and the Minnesota Wilds have won the fifth game. Right here at home against the Predators, it's an amazing game to show how it's done here before. But now, there might be ready things up to smash here in Bridgestone Arena. Oh, sorry about that one. But there is so much to be happening here, and I think we're ready to see how they play. You ready to see how they done here, Ben? Yeah, you bet me join in. The puck is dropped right now, and we are underway in game six. Let the games begin. Right now, the Wilds have already scored here in games one, four, and five here in the game of each progress of first round of the game. Now for Nashville, he, they have gotten some uh, great solution out there. They won game, game one, three, and now they got something else to do if they want to keep an eye on the win. The only thing that we have to call for is the backup plan. There is a lot of chance that they're going to need to make a solution here, but they need to try to stop and buy. Sometimes it can be very hard to like, try to take them down right away. Predators wins off the faceoff here in neutral zone. Now from the inside, from the wing, this is off Dudley. Good save by a Conklin. Conklin, who has his, gets his own first here and a save for this one. And as for being said, this was only between the second and take the tape. Kavritsov has it all in between the hands. And yes, guys, that Kavritsov has an all in covered in motion out there from the take the tape feed. There's a lot that they might be happening here along with the other groups that are changed up. Meanwhile, the Kapitskov can still have their own advantage here. If they wanted to find the open man, they got to send it right away. Back, let's see how well they do in Game 6. Back to you guys. The Wilds have already got done so much here in Game 2, 4, and 5. But right now, there might be something going to happen here. They win again. Well, it's just very really that hard and simple here. It's just a... A quite uh, difficult run for their for their entire time, but it may be very true to have an all reliable and can be a little difficult here to bit the strength. Posey takes the puck away. Granlin has it up in the corner right now of the box. Zuccarello takes the puck away. Minnesota running into the attack. Finds over to Harbin with the shot saved by Soros, and this will close the puck here. And it will get some rest right down there with 17.03 good to go. Still a moment of time left here as the score is still even. Wilds hits back on the run and gloves saved by Soros. What an easy, easy call here to make that one. He's quick. He's too easy. It might be very hard for him to try to keep it on by. Nashville wins off here in the defensive zone. Now Johansson will dish off to Elko. Up to Kunin. The Predators gain a long steam here in the offensive zone. Johansson inside. That plot, the shot is blocked. Tomasino saved by Kahunen. Kahunen. There's so much for Kahunen so far. There might be some uh, line of transition to go with the names. But I don't know if its name is right. Well, uh, it's very that difficult to try to pronounce it correctly, but uh, it was, it's too much to, uh, to go for pronouncing. If you're pronouncing it incorrectly, well, it's a silent, uh, silent names in each section of the letters. 
I know everybody has a hard time saying, but we'll see if if one of the person knows the answer from the wild's reception. Now here's Kunin. Who's up to Johansson? The Predators gain steam inside the zone. Takes a shot. That goes off of Kalkinen. Kuderov's got it across back in the blue line. Makes it front. Spurgeon. Holding up front. It's Soros with the save there from the Crescent. And he's holding the puck here as long as they're clearing it out. Now Nashville works up away from the new, neutral, in a neutral zone. Now he heads off in the offensive zone. Forsberg going in. Cochran saving it from the puck and almost went tipping in. Yeah, good for call on that one. That was pretty good. Still more time left. Score is still even in the books. Now they begin. Back to Elko. Back home to Benning. Shoots wide. That goes off of Kavanaugh with the shoulder. The shoulder of this pressing is just a very tough one to make that one play. That was hard. He scores! Elkholm gets his first goal in game six. It's 1-0. The booming shot for Elkholm has gotten some great tougher angle. What a great save out there. And with the communication from himself, they got knocked it down. Now the saving comes up here, and the save is by Soros. Kurbatov gives it over across off the board. Dugney right over to Granlin. Nashville roll along into the neutral, into offensive zone. Love saved by Kaepernick. Capone gets it down with the puck, and it will clear down the ice here at 13-25. Nashville goes back to work on offense. Benning right over to Dugney. Forsberg right along inside of the offensive zone. Gets a weak hit and that one brings back to Kaprizov. Kaprizov is going to look for somebody out there. Kaprizov, Zuccarello, he scores! What a goal by Matt Zuccarello! And it's Kaprizov with the tape to tape feed. The tape to tape feed has it all uncovered right now as Karpasov did have his man open advantage. He now has the first one here in game six. Now they're looking for another one to go right by him. And Matt Zuccarello got a great score in for his gaming career from game two and, and four. We're going to see if he can try to hold up a little more when we keep an eyes on the time. Guys? Still more time left here as the game is tied up by one. Minnesota leads it off here in the defensive zone. Gains it up over to Bully. Moves quickly to Fiala. With the shot being blocked by Benning. It takes the puck away. Flies the puck right over to along the board. Broden finds over to Dumba. Dumba right to Tiboldi. The Wilds back in offensive zing now. They take score! Boldy! Another goal here in the playoffs. You can actually definitely hear that Matthew Boldy got a great good advantage out there. And if I know it was his first time, but the rookie for him can be anything what he would love to do. I know for himself that Matthew Baldy was going to get there in time, but I must admit this, it can be a very tricky one to go right by. The attacker inside, Soros takes a save. Only 10.55 to go in the first period. There's still more men, plenty of room here. Minnesota has regained himself a 2-1 lead over the National Predators in Game 6. And yeah, I can definitely tell that you feel about that. There might be a lot of number two teams and hard work transition out there. Well, now they have it all up on the board. They may have something nearby to go right in timing. Wild wow, finding Boldy. Boldy shot. Saved by Soros. That kicks away. El 
Bronco reaches up to Forsberg. Ten minutes gone by in the first period. Duckney over to Gronlin. Gronlin, Duckney, save again by Cohen. Gronlin tries again. Duckney scores! They now tie the game up by two. The quick releasement gear for the Predators has given up a two goals in each series of the game over the first period of the landing. The landing was a very tough one to go right by them. They really want something else to go right forward instead. They got a lot of stuff to go work on there, OJ. Spurs yard off to Harbin. Harbin going right in now. Soros makes a save B. And only under nine minutes, it's 2-2. Two -two. Still more time left here in between those two. The Senator has this dropped the puck and now it resumes. Minnesota has Harbin along the corner of the board. Now we jump to Kolokovsky. Thomas Minow takes a steal. The fast break coming in. This one carries up to Spurgeon. Kevin's off back in the, uh, in the offensive zone. This is off to Zuccarello. Zuccarello goes blocking the shot here in nowhere traffic. Zuccarello wasn't able to uh, take the clean open shot. It, they, they didn't really, they really blocked uh, Zuccarello's shot from going blinded in between the mans. They were right in front. But sometimes it can be very, uh, a very tough one. Pretty effective way to get right around it. National regains group. Block the shot here for Minnesota. Forsberg right into the neutral, neutral circle wing faceoff. And Covenant will have to take the save here to hold the puck down. The puck is in really in good condition out there. There might be something else out there and I wanted to give it another try. The next faceoff win goes out to Minnesota. Now it goes to Fiala. Fiala on fast break. Takes a shot and a save. Wow, what a diving play by Saros. And he holds the puck there. Very good. Yeah, you can definitely tell that one. Saros got a very good one. Now he swings over to Faber to Hosey. Up over to Forsberg. Predators getting the momentum out there. Dougney shot, saved made by Cowanen. Fiala takes the puck away. Minnesota regains the group here on offense. Algorski to Bully, up again. Saros takes a glove save on the chest. And you don't want to do uh, go right in front. You gotta like find the attacker right away and then go with taking shots. It's very easy to do here, Ben just standing in front of it, but there, there's a lot of plenty of room here on the rink. Don't get too uncomfortable. Forsberg on again. Picking shot, and it went saved again by Cojone. Boldy reaches up back in the blue line. Moves inside, saved by Soros. Forsberg up with them. Hosey right inside. Gets banged up by Boldy. And now Fabra will try to deliver it again. Fabra's getting good at this point. He he's getting a lot of uh, he's getting a lot of uh, skating, and he's uh, he's trying to uh, move his leg around a bit. The Wilds are picking up steam. Elko takes the rebounding, and it's Kaprizov. Pulled it up. Save again. Hartman went too deep, and a glove save by Saros. Let's say it was a very important idea to know, but it was going to be a very tough one. A cup, but for Saros, he got it in time. Still lots of time left here. Speaking of that one, we have a lot of time here in the first period coming in by. This faceoff wins up here for another one for Nashville. Elkhorn to Benning. Swing it up across. And it's Spurgeon with the rebound. Harbin back into the offense zone. Gets smashed up by smashing the bill. 
there's a Smashville going on over here, and there might be another one to try to stop them. Curtain shot blocked. This one goes again, and Golikowski takes a save here and holds the puck in front. The Wilds are working their way over to hit it again. Oh, what a save by Soros! And in Kovacov, we're going to try to pick things up a bit. But it was too late to carry. Too late to carry on that one can be a very difficult timing to like have your have your chance. Now it's a very it's a very uh a very hard setup. This can be tricky enough to go by him. And oh almost got a goal in there, but it went too way too deep. Minnesota finds Greenway right into the offensive zone. Attack inside Golikowski! Chop has been denied by Benning. Trent on along. Takes a uh, shot. Off it goes right in front. This attack is going to be very, very tricky. Don't be leaving a man alone. Pass is broken up. Trent slings the puck around from the corner of the wall. Passes up to Foley, you know. We approach down the last minute left in the first period as the score is 2-2. Two to two. Sissons right up in front. Now he goes right back to Foligno. Eric Sinek right over to Dumbo. We go up and around the back of the net. Gina whip in control. Eric Sinek bats along to Foligno. Ten seconds left in the first period. Greenway shot. That goes tipped out wide. Making heavy contacts. Gina up. And that will end the first period. So much happening here, here in the Western Conference Regional matchup. It's a 2-2 game. Puck's about to set, and we are back here at Bridgestone Arena. Glad you could join us here for today for the second part of the intermission. After the second period, the puck drops, and we all start now here for the second period. Grand will make the Dugney. Hates a shot, but Hogan makes a save. Oh, another one great save. That's two times in a row here for the Cahokan. That is a great save out there. Much of these players can't able to try to go around the player of the goal of the goalie. But most some of the most players can definitely try their way around and get better at it. Now Harvin delivers off, delivers to Zuccarello. Hate the pressure in there, and Sparrow with the takeaway puck. Forsberg right to Garland. Granlin inside, shot blocked. Spurgeon finds Zuccarello, moves it to quickly to Kaprasov. Back to Goligowski, to Harbin. Back to Zuccarello, shot, it was tipped away. Nothing on the saddle keeps the momentum inside. The Predators gain their position here on the offense. Moves over to Brandon. Moves it quickly over to Forsberg. Forsberg gets whacked out hard. Finds Fiala. Over to Hartman. Moves back to Zuccarello. Right to Spurgeon. He will try something a little bit new to make it clever, but it's Hosey with the puck. They're now picking up momentum. Finds Kuren, inside, and goes shot by. That was very tough. All of the sudden ladders, there was a tough one to make that call. Fiala right over to, to the wall. 6.15 left to go in the second period. Shoots up in one front. That's Fabro taking care of Saros' save. Kuduru to Zuccarello. It's out again. That goes knocking wide off here on Saros. And you're telling me that Saros was going to get there just like that. But it went too much and too far ago. Only a couple of each uh, periods have already been standed out here for the second period. But we're waiting on to take, to take the goals to break the lead. Now Guru will have to try things again. Back to Dumba. Fiala in! Shot went terribly missed one. That wasn't very that good. There was going to be another one to make the goal. 
but it didn't really happen that much, so they have to find out another way to get right around it. 50 minutes left here in the second period. Right now it's a 2-2 game. Shoots at the front, and that goes in traffic by by the two man defenders. Benning will try again. Swings off the Sizzins. Sizzins keeps an eye on Kunin. Off to Jarrett. Went a little bit, a little bit wide off, shift in between the gears. The gears are really, really terrifying, but it may be hard to go right for it instead. Floyd, no. Flings the puck around up on the board. Now Benning will take it from here. And a pass has been shifted by Rex and Eck. Floyd, no up. Save again by Saros. Oh, and a big save. Holds the puck down here as we have a clean ice to take him care of. And this one is going to be tough in between the battle. I don't know who's going to be making a, a, a great saves in between Cahogan or Saros. This is the very toughest matchup in the making. Now Trenton will take it from the other way. Still going. Inside alone. Save by Cahogan. Eric pulls it up here on the offense. Slings it right over. Back into the wall. Bang it. Take a little piece of it, but not too much. Sissons finds Gina. Man on in front, blocks him up with a shot. And this one keeps on happening. Trenton, and it's Rask with the, with the steal. The steal it takes, the more physical you're going to need to take it from here. Trenton right in alone. With the relief fast break, goes inside. Oh, what a save by Cajonin. Man, the Cajonin was going to be trying to whip up its way. And then try to like sneak him up in the attack. Now he finds Benning. Benning backing over is Duhami. Duhami up! Score! That will be one goal game for Minnesota. Dutchney has it all in covered up in front. Looks like he is trying to put some great motion out there on offense to try to make them work for and Rask with the assists. That was an excellent play here for Minnesota Wilds. Now Forsberg moves across here from the neutral zone and this one wraps it around the wall. Won't pick it up in that one in time. Jose up to Dugney with the shot. Bradley. Shoots! Size off the board and it's Cahogan with the assist. Now Goligoski holds the puck and through as Minnesota regains momentum. He gets it along with Saros and a shot was been tipped off wide short. Not getting along better, but it may be very, very tougher to give him another one. More time is given up in between those two teams. Take it another shot. Can't make another one. This one reaches out. Back in two. And this one's off carried again. They're all battle for puck. Now reaches up. Over again. Oh, he was so close getting there in time. Johansson up over to Goligoski with the steal. The Wilds regain their group. Zuccarello up. Shoots up in front. That goes off on Saros. Predators wins here. And now this will be 8 18 to go. Shoots up in close contact. Oh, saved by Cahonan. Gets it wide in front. Baby delivers to Goderu. Goderu to Boldy. Up in front. Saros saves again. And it's in 743. 
Well, that's just not like it's the longest game I've ever seen in here just so far. And I'm not going to show what happened. There is one thing that might need to go for a better driving offense. Tomasino, way over to Kuden. And the puck is dropped here for the save. Still lots of time left. Nashville has a has broken it up here. No, Minnesota has breaking up the tie. It's a 3-2 game. Shoots in front. That goes up a Garnet. Garnet didn't really have it all. Out of all that does some things off, it was very tough to try to work this thing around. Now here's Pergeon. Oh, he gets whipped around. Now Kuna will try to save it. Now this one goes back to Baldi. Up to Guduru. Guduru inside. Now it's saved again by Soros. Yeah, Soros was going to keep it going out there. Don't lose it control. Gordon, I to Piala. Piala on the man. This one goes right by him. Now it's a Gremlin. 5.15 left to go. This one comes up in, in good motion out there. Now the Nashville Predators are still in the lead. We just have the dog name. Moves over to Hartman. It's 4 30 left to go in this third second period. Now that goes off here on the shoulder pad. Yeah, totally is yeah, true. But one thing at a moment at a time, it can be very, very pain. Now, Hartman. Off to uh, Karazov. Karazov makes a save. Now, it tries again. The covers off. In between. Greenland. 3.20 left to go in the second period. Now he's been back, back in here. Trying to look for somebody open. This one keeps in front. This one moves over to Gina. Gina has the puck across against the board. Under 2.30 left. Seasons up. Save again. Score! Trinity receiving his 3 3 game. What a tough hit. Moment of that time can be just like him. Nashville tied this game up. It's a 3 3 game. Wow. What a show run out. And Golagoski can make the team come back in here in game number six. They might be going for it, but we're going to have to wait for that one here later because there might be a situation in between. So we're not sure what's going to happen here. Spurgeon. Trying to work it around the corner of the wall, and he can't do it. He shoots up in front. That goes off of nowhere to try to stop him by. And now we approach down to one minute left. Wow, the goal's on Greenway. Ah, uh, that looks like the Wild are trying to get away with their answer. It looks like they are tired here for the first round. They want to move on to the second. You can feel that the heat is coming in for the Minnesota Wilds. It may be a very tough one to be released by. And with that one, there aren't any other solution here to keep your eyes on. Now again, the Bruins have the more again to Golgowski. Now this rolls back to 20 seconds left in the second period. Now Fiala. Fiala circles in motion, looking for a chance now. And this one will be five seconds left. 
And that ends the first period, the two-second period. A lot of terrific team matchups. It is now a 4-3 lead, Minnesota Wilds. Third period's coming up right after the break. The third period's about to set. Me, OJ, and Fan are here along with the sideline reporter, Amifo. It's about the time to go down. This this is the third period. We start things now. Here's Stephanie. Brandlin has it uncovered. Nashville Predators are in the offensive zone. They have scored just a couple of each, uh, of each games for the Nashville Predators. And for Minnesota Wilds, they are going a lot crazier than they have here played before. I know what you're thinking. Most of that time, it was it was the Wilds that were going to be playing here. Just a just an amazing game that they just started so far. But sometimes when you're thinking of uh, the man going on offense, you want to make sure you want to keep it simple, just and steady to get right through it. Because if you're not going to find anybody, well, it might be too tough to go right by it. Now he just up to Brunlin, up to Dugney. Epic smack takedown for the Wilds. Yes, Dugney goes down on the ice. Oh boy, a little collision out there. It's just like a, it's like a bump and boom, down you go. Zuccarello, unable to connect that one. Now he will face the attack inside. Saving in front. Oh, Kakona has saved it again. Fiala, trying to stop the puck here alive. Forsberg has it covered. Still 4 3. Forsberg up front, saved by Kahogan. Kahogan is doing just, a, just more in attacking in this range. There is a much more that he can go for. Save again by Soros. Hosey's got the puck around the defensive end. Now Tomasino has it up cover. In front, taking attack. Chuck goes wide. That goes on to Goleru. Now he swings off to Goligowski. Goligowski in for another takedown. Tomasino going for another target, but it was carried up wide. Ah, that's a little bit of a problem out there. That can be a very tough one to go by. Now Spurgeon. Dish off to Fiala. Up to Boldy. Boldy right in the wall over the corner. Swinging it over the wall around the board. They won't find a man open advantage. Alcorn up to Kunin. Kunin racing towards the net. Right to Johansson. Chuck blocked. That was on Broad and it took the block right in front. The savior that can definitely try things happening. And we got no penalty coming going for the uh, National Predators. No tripping or booking call. Turn or slashing. That could be a very difficult strength out there. Well, the only other guys, there might be somebody out there. And with the slashing call, it looks like the, uh, the play was going to go under review. But the officials have said that it was a clean hit. And that did turn out that it was only to turn out to be the Predators. After an or went inside the painting, right near the crescent, it goes safe again by Soros. Predators up along the wing. Save up! Oh, he just almost lost it! But he still recovers it. That was close. You now know the secret there. This was going to be a very tough challenge. Minnesota still has a one goal lead here, and only four and three in the third period. A lot of timing for Duba. Right over to Bruni. Bruni to Foley. Foligno has a cut of a cover right near the wing. Erickson Eck fires. Foligno goes right to the crease, and it went up on the glass. Now Trenton has it up and covered up here. The Nashville Predators are gaining momentum. And this one carries to be a save B by, by Cajonin. Takes it inside. Trenton backs him up. Off the target he goes. Great D on the Wilds. That's the pressure when you go on for. It might be very tough in honest opinion, but I, I got the biggest sell about that. It's just hard to, they were trying to get right into it. Minnesota watching their side in, in and out. Dumba takes the cover. Trenton right to Benning. Scissors up. Saved by Pagonin. Almost went loose. That was close. 
Kalingo inside. Chuck Gaytari taking a traffic bad in between. Echo right to Gina. Predators are in the attack right now with one man advantage. Goes out in front. Proden takes in the block. Now they have across the wall is Benning. Benning inside. Sculpin saved by Cajonia. They will hold the play here with 11 3 to go. Now the play resumes as Predator Saint Wine. The block the shot. Gorman blocked again. Rebound of here by Spurgeon. Zuccarello right into the board. Moves inside. Hosey up. Oh, the save by Saros. Saros was a definitely a great saving at that point. That's happened too much. Saros club save. Still more time left to be here. Minnesota still in front as it's still 4-3 in the in the books. Now in the wilds, we do zoom their possession. Oh, Zuccarello! Almost had it out in front, but a save made with Saros. You can definitely tell that one here, that Saros was going to be a, a tough lookout in range. Now, with that being being pulled out, it can be tricky. Gahona got a save, and they will hold the play here with 9.38 to go. There's a, so much going on as Kaprizov has a most tape-to-tape -tape feed. This one is the only uh, person that does have it in between the range. There is much to handle and more to, and more to have some keys in it right below and below. Now, if only that takes, is the tape to take feed measures. We'll see how well they can do for Kup Kuprizov to, to take their weight and put it back on the, on the outside to end. All right, guys, back to you. Now he moves over to Forsberg, open to go on. Granlin inside the wing. Shoots off again by Gahonin. Gahonin is very bad, powerful. Always strong that you need to know that. Granlin saved by Gahonin. And he will hold the puck to clear it down with just 8.27 to go. Still no way of getting there to the midway point mark. And we're underneath it right now, but we didn't reach the five minutes left. Now the pass wins up to Josie. Cut it up. Shot went to wide. Spurgeon has the puck. Now he gets off to Hartman. Minnesota right into the attack on the offensive zone. Koligowski. Shot off of save by Holt by uh, Isaros. And we got a man down for Predators. You saw it. You say that this was going to be ever happened by the defender. But what happened to them? Well, Luke Kuna was out and he is heading to the medical responder. That was a very smash hit by the Wilds. It did turn out to be that one. It was very impressed, but I must have submitted here. But it must have been a penalty call, but they did not. It was really rough, very hard, and it was too much to pull him through. Play resumes right now, and oh, Golkowski has it all even covered. Covers off right to Zuccarello. Up to Spurgeon. The Wilds are in transition right now on offense. Inside now, saved by Sarox. Frobro in the ever lane, going back though up towards the offensive lane. Hardman right to Golagoski. Up to Boldy. Still many gaining momentum to pick up speed. Soros takes that save. And he hold the puck here at 631 left. Right now the Wilds are taking Brent Chisson and this one resumes the play. Trennan right in, in, in front, passing the neutral zone. 6-10 to go in the third period. Takes it front. Golagoski takes a steal. Minnesota on the attack. Boldy back to Guderu. Shot when denying traffic. That hit them off the line. Right to Fabro. 
Pitching up the pace is Nashville coming back in to own it up again. Lugoski taking his time to rebound again. 5-10 to go right now in the third period. Duncan has a has a puck control. Man in behind. Has it to Forsberg. No penalty yet for Minnesota. This was very the top that there, there, there's nobody behind. That would have been a, a, a clear, that would have been a clear review to, uh, to check out what the play was wrong. All of a sudden, this was very, uh, very that tough. And nothing to hear, hear about that. It can be a very tough old one to try to stop him right from the line. Now it will be a very uh, crucial to have the Nashville Predators find their way to get right by it. Wilds has it back. Heart made up. And crash it goes to Forsberg. Hitting right foot, Grunlin, I can't find the man opener. Only 3.43 left to go in the third period. Grunlin getting out of control. Fraubro trying to stick it up. Zuccarello slipped up. No penalty on Nashville. Grunlin up front. Swings up. Love save by Mahone. Holding the puck, it will be cleared out with under three minutes left. I think there was much uh, plays coming up here. I think the Wilds are going to try to uh, try to figure it out to try to block that shot. If they if they uh, block them most of the shots, well, they might have win the game and move on to face against the winning team in between the Avalanche and the Sun and and the shooting stars of stars. Johansson, good and save. Another one comes down by. He is definitely a star. Now he is picking up his pace out there. Now he's doing a lot hard. The Minnesota Wilds keep it in possession. Johansson in there. Save it again by Cajone. Another big save. Oh my goodness. What a timing appearance for the Minnesota Wilds. This one's going to be a crazy run in between the 22 hits and 19 in the run. The attackers are going everywhere. A lot of insane runs of Predators on ice and wild to the Bears on the ice. There's so many of them. Benning moves down. Now he switches up to Trenton. Up to Johansson. Johansson shot. And it's Dumba take away. Minnesota back in the offensive zone. Baldy back in over. Johansson takes the puck away. Nearly approaching one minute left here in the third period of game number six. The Predators needs to make a tie or else it will be over for them to make them shut them down. Yeah, this is the last call. Whatever you win or lose, and that will be your end of your season. Benning back in front. Elkholm in front. Now into Grandland. And now they have a man advantage here for the Predators. Takes a shot. Save by Cajonin. 30 seconds left for the, for the regulation clock. Zuccarello up and confront. Broden behind. Swings off to Kapasov. Goes down and to take away. Rolling up. Tomasi now back in the neutral zone. Back in the offensive line. Joanne recovers. Goes back away. Last seconds left for the Predators. Forsberg pushes inside, takes it front, save by Cajonin! The game is over! And it's the Wilds going to the second round! Oh boy, what a saving run out there! And that is definitely what they have gotten so far! Wow! What a tough game this is! And I have nothing else to say! This is all that happened? Wow! That was it. The Predators are finished for the season. Wow. That was a shocking game. I have never seen that one coming there before. This was a heavy matchup in between the second and third seed. But nice to have the Wilds win. They're going to move on to the second round to face against the winning team in between the Avs and the Stars. But we don't know who will go to the next round. So that's it for me. OJ and Fan, along with the sideline and meat food, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thank you so much, guys. And we have Elkhorn, one goal and five hits.
This one has turned out to be an incredible stunning pack in the end form that turned out to be one by one. The second star is Philip Forsberg. Two assisted, four hits. Only turned out to be just a couple of them to make them pay for. And number one was Kat Honan. 56 saves, .949 saving percentage. Well, Cajonan is the biggest star here on the goalie, and their team is moving on to the semifinals in the Western Conference. That all it takes care of this game, and what a game matchup this turned out to be. The showdown of the animal pack from between the bear and the predator, the prey. Those two are the preys, but let's be fair and honest with you, it's everywhere they have turned out. So thank you for watching for this game, and for OJ and Fan are gone, I'm Son of Beast. Thank you so much for watching for this game, and if you're tuning in to the next game of the Abs and Stars, it's coming up next, right on the podium, and we will be sticking you around later to have another game. So thank you, and have a good night in Smashville in Tennessee along with the land of St. Paul of Minnesota.